if someone know a magic product for frizzy kind of hair when you live in a humid country, please share in comments. I want to try, try everything. And uh, gosh, it's a bad hair day today. It doesn't look like it's a bad hair day. Anyway, hi, my name is Frederic. If you're new to the channel, well, bienvenue. Uh, so if you're looking for, for French tips about being elegant and classy, beauty, and mainly about uh, how to dress up with your existing clothes you have already in your wardrobe and in your closet, but you just need a bit of a help to get like the right combination, that's the right channel for you. All right, so hi. So, uh, and if you're back, <laughs> sorry, I'm not gonna forget everyone. Thank you for coming back. Uh, as usual, for the new one and for the existing one, please don't forget to like, uh, thumbs up, uh, subscribe, the, don't forget the bell, the notification bell when I post. I usually try to post three to four times per week. Yes, it's crazy, uh, but I really enjoy it and I have so much to share. But don't miss my videos because some people write me and said, well, I didn't know you wrote something about blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, check, check, get the bell and you won't miss it. Anyway, so let's start it. I uh, have to take some notes because, oh, I think I'm going to do a part one for this one. I'm not sure yet about the title, but something like 10 things, 10 things, excuse me, I have to learn to articulate, 10 things that elegant, classy French women will never, never do. So I just want to let you know that um, to me, it's totally logical when I'm going through and you don't have to be French to be an elegant woman, an elegant woman, a classy woman coming from a different country. So if you're not French, but elegant, do not kill me. I'm not here to say only French women are elegant, but I'm here to say it's only when I've been living now overseas for many, many years that I realized that women are most of the time jealous <laughs> and always said, oh, this is so French what you say. This is so French the way you dress. Oh my gosh, you're so elegant. And trust me, I don't think I'm the most elegant person in the world. Um, but it's only when you're French and you live overseas uh, that people come back with you with type of feedback and you're like, why do I do so different? Because when I go back to France and I'm with my super girlfriend, uh, Parisian, I'm thinking about someone uh, especially, hi girls. <laughs> and uh, I'm like, oh my gosh, I love so much those girls and having lunch and talking about many, many things, the science stuff to the shallow one about fashion. And I do realize that we do have something, the way we carry each other are a little bit different than overseas. And when you live overseas, you see other women from a different culture. Does, I'm not going to name any uh, nationality here. You know, it's not a nationality when you're more not classy enough, but I have to admit, depends about your upbringing, depends um, where you're growing up, you know. Is really different. So I'm going to try to cover at least 10 big things that I never do. Uh, I need to cover all that. And I'm going to try not to do a very long videos, but I have so much to tell about that. So I think I'm going to do a part one and many small videos are going to come. So stay tuned. Be ready. Take notes if you want to. Or pause the video will be much simpler. <laughs> so what we French women, I never, ever, ever, exception of course, no exception to me ever, ever, ever do is having crappy, shitty, dirty, broken nails, not looking after. Absolutely, I've never seen a French woman having like that, ever. So doesn't matter if you go to a manicure salon regularly, if you do your nails yourself, you, every woman, French woman I know, even the sporty one with short, short nails, uh, the one who has maybe a little bit more sexier nails, I don't know, they all look after, polished or not, bare or not, even if a, a woman do not like much the colors or it's too much maintenance, which is a lot of maintenance, don't get me wrong, they will at least use a transparent one. And, and come on, ladies, 
Don't get your, your, your hands done, you know. It's, uh, in Siponen, you don't have to get the sexiest hands in the world. But trust me, you meet a guy or you even meet a woman, they will look at your hands. I look at people's hands. And mine are not sexy. They're short. They're wide because I used to swim for many, many years. I got sunspot on it. Who cares? I love my nails because you know what? I used to bite my nails many, many, many years before. So now I don't anymore. They're not perfect. But gosh, I love playing with that. So French women always look after their appearance. And this is what I'm going to develop a little bit more. Uh, haha, number two. <laughs> Again, I can see some exceptions. But since I've been living overseas, it's like killing me. I never, 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 ever awesome. heard a French woman being extremely loud on the phone or loud generally at the party or laughing very loud. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, did I scare you? <laughs> or, I mean, here, yeah, yeah, girls in Australia, you're so loud on the phone. Are you ready? Are we say on Tuesday, on Tuesday. I'm like, come on, I can hear you. I think the block can hear you. Yes, I'm very annoyed by this because I usually walk my dog and have my peace and my little moment of quietness and bonding with my dog and suddenly I hear someone talking about whatever and it's so loud. So the same way that ever, ever, ever a French woman will wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> That's already bad. But research, like in the street, or uh, for example, if you're a mom, just an example like that. If you're a mom and you go to a sport game and you are supporting your kid, fantastic. Come on. Since when a woman research like this, and like a guy, you're not going to even do it. <laughs> and, and I mean, wow, I went to a rugby game here. Gosh. Gosh, and again, I'm not criticizing, I'm going to get killed with this video, but I'm just saying, I never seen a French woman, I don't even know French women know how to wrestle like that, but if I was to do it as a kid, I can tell you, I got a couple of slaps from my mom, and I'm sure that I remember that, even if I was wrestling to sing, and since now to me, when I see a woman wrestling, it's, it's just, oh, oh, call a taxi, no, just don't, don't, just don't do it. <laughs> I'm gonna be so much in trouble. All right, uh, where's my number three? Uh, oh, you're not gonna love this one. <laughs> this one. <laughs> All right, number three. Classy, elegant. I'm thinking Paris, okay? And I lived in Paris for 10 years before moving to Sydney. Um, but I never seen an elegant and classy French woman wearing mini, 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 mini skirt or mini, mini, mini shorts. I'm into shorts in summer. I love wearing shorts. I love the jean shorts. But come on, ladies, since when it's elegant to wear a short and showing half a quarter of your ass? I don't want to see that. Even if you have the most stunning ass in the world, good for you. Do, I, do you need to show it to the rest of the world? No, because soon, even if you have the sexiest body and you might be the nicest person, soon you're showing your ass like that. First of all, it's really into the face of people. To the kids, it's the same at the same height of the kids. Don't forget that. And it's just like, what's your message here? I got a nice ass, look at me. I'm like, this is so wrong, you know, so wrong. And it's worse, oh, oh. <laughs> Women doing sports or wearing those, you know, um, lacra pants. And I've seen recently, and I don't know what you're doing, girls, you're doing squat to have a bigger ass because it's all about having a bigger ass. What in Europe is having a small ass and be really cute. And I've seen this woman last time not wearing underwear, wearing this um, lacra pants and the couture. So the elastic was literally in the middle of the ass, okay, just to really put the form between the two cheeks. She was really showing us. She had a beautiful house. But even me as a woman, and trust me, I love having sometimes cheeky or sexy at it, but that was not sexy, not cheeky, and it was vulgar, and it, it, it probably translated the wrong message to the people. I'm like, come on, come on, you're a woman. You can do better than that. Number four, 
Bad hair. Never seen a French woman with bad hair. Have you, do you know how many hairdressers in one street in Paris you have? Uh, even me, when I go to Paris for three weeks, I will go to the hairdresser. This is what we do, and we have great hairdressers. So a French woman always look after her hair. Doesn't have to be always impeccable. We have as well the style, a bit of a, oh, I just woke up like that. But trust me, even the women who have an haircut who just woke up like that, it's tight. All right. Number five, the same for the skin. We really look after our skin, okay? And actually, French women, uh, if you've seen the video, maybe I'm going to leak somewhere uh, about my morning skincare routine. French women spend a lot of money and a lot of time looking after the skin, okay? Because we're all about uh, aging with grace. We try not to go from surgery, Botox, and fillers or whatever you need. But to avoid this, you need to avoid, obviously, smoking. I'm, I'm, I'm guilty as charged for all of this, okay? Uh, going to the sun, but we still invest a lot in our skin, and we do that on a very young age. So we do a lot of um, uh, facials. Uh, we French women, every French woman I know, they know at least uh, one beauty salon they go regularly for a facial, uh, waxing, uh, massage, etc uh, etc et so we really look after ourselves even women don't have the best perfect skin like me but we really look after our skin oh, okay um then <laughs> i need to do a full video about that we don't eat with an open mouth at all if any someone asks you a question, especially when you're in a work lunch, happened to me a thousand times, and someone talks to you and asks you a question, and just in the middle, you are chewing your food, you just do like this. And I'm waiting to empty my mouth, wipe my mouth, and then have a glass of water or wine, you know, and I will answer to the person. I don't want to see the food inside of your mouth, not classy. You teach the same to your kids. Apply that to yourself. The same way, uh, but the manners we have around the table is super strict. You should see my education. It wasn't funny at all. But I do that as well sometimes, and it's only French people who just correct me when I put my elbows on the table when we're eating. When you're starting, when you haven't started eating, you're just having an aperitif, that's okay. But when you start eating, you cannot have your elbows on the table. I know, super strict. But um, manners around the table are very, very important. No matter your, no matter what your your nationality. Okay, so that's done. Okay, mm -hmm. something we have sometimes a little bit too much. It's not sexiness. French women are not sexy. I mean, we are sexy, but it's not that the sexy definition of some people overseas thinking that you have a short showing up for your ass. That's not sexy. You know what we have? It's confidence. We learn how to know a body. We learn how to dress. We learn how to put makeup on. We we have thick skin. We we help each other. We are, oh, what's your hairdresser? Wow, give me the address. Fantastic. Uh, wow, your perfume is so unique. We like to be unique, and I will do again a video, a video about that. Um, but we are confident. And if someone is telling me something I don't like it, I'm not going to smile and pretend everything is fine, unless, again, it's a work environment. That's, again, another story. But I will tell a person, I said, yeah, I don't like it. This is not like now. But, again, it depends where you live. In Paris, totally fine. When you're overseas, people think French people are rude and arrogant when actually it's part of a culture to be direct. Spanish, Italian people, Portuguese, no problem. We find that funny. We love it. It's not rude or arrogant. When you live in a country like England, I don't know for Canada, but the States, stay a bit more relaxed. Australian is not so relaxed. I'm going to really, I'm Australian, so don't get me wrong. I love to be and to be Australian. But it's so stiff sometimes. They're really stiff, you know. Okay, then, ah, uh, the shoes. We never, never wear platform high heel shoes. Um, I love my high heels. You, you know, you can tell, look, look, look my size. I'm six foot, no, sorry. You see, I'm 160 centimeters for the metric system. And for the people who don't have metric system, I, I'm five foot two, barely, okay? Um, so it doesn't bother me. It did for many years, but I have to live with it, okay? I'm petite and I love heels. And I really love heels. Uh, it gives me confidence, gives me a bit of a height, so I can be at the same height of people when I'm talking. It's great. 
I like high heels, 10 to 12 centimeters, and even now I'm going a little bit down so comfortable, as much as I love the heels. But you will never, ever, even in my 20s, see me in a stripper pair of shoes. In what in the world is it sexy? Stripper shoes for strippers in stripper places. Okay, so be elegant, be comfortable, wear heels as much as you want, but there's so many choices, so many good quality, wear good, nice, beautiful pair of high heels, pumps, whatever you call that. I'm looking at the time, I'm going to be, uh, all right, let's keep going, and I think I'm almost done looking at my list, of course, don't have my glasses, because I'm trying to be feminine, but actually, really, my glasses... Um, and oh yeah, that the last one. I think that's ten. I hope the last one that I've been learned that my mom told me again as a young kid, and trust me, that stayed with me the rest of my life. As a kid and as a woman, <laughs> you never, never. Oh, I got two of them actually, so maybe it's ten or eleven. I never, never leave the house, or never, never, never wear something with a hole, a stain. Something is not properly tailored, something is a bit ripped, you know, you say, or oh, 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 it's being discolored by the sun, if it's a black top, something, you don't do that, okay? Because you represent yourself, you represent your family, and you always have to be, not always impeccable, but you know what, having good hair, good nails, good skin, have a proper, even just a t-shirt, like a simple t-shirt that I'm wearing, proper, clean, nice t-shirt, ironed, a minimum, you know, so um, it was hard for me to understand that when I was a kid because I was a tomboy and uh, <laughs> drove my mom crazy because I was always coming back with red clothes because I was climbing trees or whatever. But as a woman, uh, I will never leave the house. And even if I have my favorite top and I got a tiny hole, it happens to everyone. I, either way, I'm going to fix it, which I'm sure I'm going to do a bad job, but I will never leave the house with that, even if I just go to the grocery shop. Thanks, Mom. And another thing, and this is from my grandmother, who's not there anymore, unfortunately. Um, you never, never leave the house with a bit of lipstick, lip gloss, uh, and perfume, ever. If you're not crazy on lipstick, you will definitely have a balm, protector balm, you know, uh, or a lipstick or a lip gloss. You check yourself in the mirror before you leave the house and you put a drop of perfume. If you don't have time, you should have a bottle of perfume in your handbag. And personally, it's in my glove box in the car. <laughs> so here we go. Not so strict. Sorry for a long video, but this is really close to my heart for many obvious reasons. I hope you learned something from this video. Again, thank you so much for being here. If you like it, no, sorry, if you like it, like it, thumbs up, subscription. I need to, to learn that by heart. Uh, the little bell, share that with other people. Leave comments, only can't comments. Don't worry. If you, if you're going to be a BH, don't, don't bother. I mean, like really. You, you better than that. Under that. Um, but love reading your comments. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Somewhere is probably showing up in the middle of the video, and uh, or maybe now. And uh, and put in comments. Tell me what you think. Tell me if I forgot anything, or tell me what you think about in another situation what French women will do. Okay. So I hope I didn't offend you anyone. <laughs> And I hope you like my directness because I'm always going to be French. I lo you love my honesty. I'm very authentic. I don't filter. Uh, maybe I should, but um, it's coming from my heart. So have fun. Have a lovely day. Big kiss. And I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>